Hey everyone, this is Julia and welcome back to Crocoblock channel. Today, I'm gonna show you how to display an appointment capacity on the single service page. By the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that and also do not forget to hit the notification bell. For this tutorial, you will need a fully set appointment and a single service page. Keep in mind that you won't be able to enjoy Jet Appointment functionality to the full extent without the Jet Engine plugin, so make sure you have both of them installed and set up. Now proceed to the WordPress dashboard, Jet Appointments, Settings. First of all, enable Manage Capacity. And secondly, turn on the Show Capacity Counter toggle. Once enabled, a new field will appear in the post of the selected CPT. So in my case it is Services, and here it is in the dashboard. Edit the post, find the Appointment Settings section, and fill in the capacity field. Let's say for this service only 5 appointments per day will be available. Hit update and repeat this step for the rest of the posts. Now we need to display the capacity counter on a service page. You can go either to Croco Block, Theme Templates and edit the single page or it can be also done in the listing item directly. The approach will be the same. Edit the template with Elementor. Firstly, let's add a heading that says Appointment Capacity. And then apply the dynamic field widget. In the source right here, select Metadata. Instead of selecting the meta field, we will enter this line into the custom meta field repeater key field bar. Don't worry if you see the same error, we're not done yet. For now, it displays nothing, however, we can get the needed data via the callback option. Enable filter field output and in the callback, Select Get Child Element from Object slash Array. Finally, enter this line into the child item name. Of course, don't forget to style everything so it matches the page design. And let's check the front end. Here is a single service page, and that is our appointment capacity counter. Let me check a couple more services. And the counter works perfectly. And this is it for today's tutorial. And don't forget to like this video if it was useful. And also subscribe to our channel as more and more videos are coming soon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.